All right, so Salesforce has recently updated the process of enabling collaborative forecasting inside of Salesforce. So in this video, I wanna demonstrate what you can do via forecast settings, and I'm inside the setup menu. If you click on forecast settings, and I search for forecast to pull that up, and you'll find inside of forecast settings, a checkbox to enable forecasts. And so some of the changes that have been made is that you can enable forecast adjustments as well as cumulative forecast rollups. You also have a section here for configuring the default forecast display as well as showing quotas as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the enablement of manager adjustments and owner adjustments as well. And there's more details on the screen around the particulars of those settings as well. And then for the cumulative forecast rollups, the main point here is that you can choose to show cumulative rollup columns, which include opportunities in multiple categories, which would be closed, commit, most likely, best case, and pipeline. There's details around those four different categories as well. And then the default forecast display, what this is coming up is forecast period of monthly starting on the current month and display six months. You can change this to quarterly instead of monthly. You can show the current quarter or eight quarters ago to eight future quarters, and you can as well display between one to eight quarters as well. But the defaults are monthly, current month, and six months, and as well you can show quotas here, and that will show target amounts and attainment percentages for team members and territories, and that setting applies for all forecast types. So you can click Save, and there's a few notes here. And so once you've read and reviewed and understand the implications of changing those forecast settings, check to, that you understand this action will potentially delete data and so i'm going to say change and delete and there were notes about what data might be deleted there and now i've got collaborative forecasting enabled via forecast settings and setup so if you found this video helpful please do like subscribe leave a comment down below what you'd like to learn next in salesforce i might make it my next video until then i'll see you in the cloud